can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Life's been good to me so far. Hi, so I'm today's guest. Uh, the song was Life's Been Good to Me by Joe Walsh. I'm shooting this video in my secret lair, which I'll explain in a minute. But first, about the song. Um, that song is tied, is one of the first songs that I have tied to a totally temporal memory. It's, it is tied to a very specific time and location. Uh, that album came out the year that I had my first wage job when I was 14 working part-time at the Fort Worth Zoo during the summer, selling cotton candy and snow cones. And I worked in, I worked in a little booth that was close to the gibbon cage. I'd get there in the morning, I could hear the gibbons making their noises. And then the rest of the day was just filled with sugar and bee stings and screaming children. And it was, it was weird and, and <laughs> a harder job than it sounds like, but it was great. It was my first job, it was my first paychecks. I used the money from that summer's paychecks to buy my first stereo. So uh, Joe Walsh isn't somebody I listen to a lot, but that song I knew all the lyrics to before, before I started practicing it. Um, and then decided on banjo because I have this banjo and I keep not playing it. So I thought I'd better play it. And I thought that was a good song to do it on. So. As far as this episode and why I'm shooting it here in my palatially wood paneled uh, room is today was supposed, this episode was supposed to be the 50th episode, which, which was going to lead to this nice coincidence of things where it was the 50th episode and it's my, the day that I'm posting this video is August 15th, which is my 50th birthday and I'm the guest. And so it's going to be this big thing. But then there were some problems with the episode that I had slated to be number 49. And ultimately I decided we need to reshoot that one. So this is episode 49 on my 50th birthday, close enough, because I'm amazed that there have been 49 episodes of this show. There have been 50 films, actually there have been 51 or 52 recorded. Um, and almost every single episode that we've recorded has gone up. It's pretty amazing. When we started this project, when Seven and I started this project back in 2012, um, had no idea how long it would last. 
when we got through the first 12 episodes and seven for various reasons needed to step out, um, I had just met Laura, who has become the recording engineer, who's been the engineer since, since episode 13. And when seven stepped out, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure I was going to keep doing it. Um, I kind of wanted to, but it seemed like a lot to take on by myself because seven did seven managed all of the camera and audio work and everything during the those first 12 episodes he recorded everything and uh eq'd all the audio and got some pretty amazing sound out of the equipment that we had at our at our disposal um and i'm deeply indebted to him for that um so i had just met laura she and and her partner jeremy um came on episode 13 and then I decided to take a break. And eventually I was talking to her and she said, well, why don't you come record it at the Women's Audio Mission? So I thought, okay, we'll try that. And that's where we've been since then. Um, so I, am, I need to thank Seven for his help in getting this started. It wouldn't have happened without him. Um, and I need to thank Laura for helping me continue it. Um, I've learned a ton from Laura and she is She's delightful to work with. If you ever need an engineer in San Francisco, look her up. Um, and then the other people that need to be thanked are first my guests, because without them, there's no show. Uh, every single one of them has come in and just knocked it out of the park. It's been amazing. There has, I, there's not been a bad performance. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm amazed that these people want to come do this. I'm amazed that I can always find people to come do it. It's really gratifying. Uh, I also need to thank my wife, Katie, who uh, is an enthusiastic booster. She loves every episode. She's happy to see me go every, every month to spend a day in the studio just doing this. Um, and her support has meant the world. Um, and then... Lastly, I need to thank you guys, uh, the, the viewers and listeners and people who download it and share it with their friends and who have kicked in a little bit of money here and there. Um, you're the other half of the equation. There's the guests and there's you. And all I do is glue it together. Um, it's without you guys, there's no show. Without the guests, there's no show. So thank you all for, for coming along with me on this ride. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now because this weekly schedule that we've been keeping up through the summer has gotten a little bit hard and there's some stuff coming up in the fall for both Laura and me. So we're going to cut back to an every other week schedule again for a little bit and we're going to take a little break right now. We'll be back in September for sure. Uh, I've already got guests lined up um, and we have some ideas. We, we're going we're gonna to be trying some new things. Um, that's one of the things that the weekly schedule has sort of precluded is like, you don't, you don't want to mess around with, with the formula when you're, when you're working as fast as we've been working. So I take stepping back a little bit, it's going to allow us to, to try some new things. And we're excited. Uh, the podcast is going great. It's, it's been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. And I'm looking forward to make, making more episodes. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. So be in touch and we'll see you around.